Welcome to Light of the World. My name is Chico Rente and today we're going to look at Divine Commission for Human Intervention. Alright, you can see a Bible there and a map uh, in the background. We will see what it means as we go on. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 to 11, uh, Paul says, And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Amen. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That is the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and in heaven and on earth, under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. We find that in Philippians chapter 2, verses 8 to 11. Now we see why Jesus has the name above every other name. It is because he had humbled himself became a man he had created and died for the man he had created who disobeyed the creator humility is what made jesus christ the king of kings and jesus the king of kings what does king mean king means supreme there is nothing above supreme and preeminent is above all other people all other authority jesus is supreme he is preeminent he is the king of kings and he says in matthew 24 verse 14 this is the most precise and most specific prophecy you can find in the bible as to um, uh, revealing the signs of the end times jesus says and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. And then the end will come. When? When this gospel of the kingdom is preached in the whole world as a testimony, all right? As a testimony, not just to be preached, but this gospel has to be a testimony to all the peoples we preach it to. They have to accept it. Amen. And there is a trend and a belief because there are over 3 billion smartphones that are active and you know they are alive and kicking with internet uh, connectivity today. More than 3 billion are using smartphones and the whole population of the world is about 8 billion so about half of the world's population are using smartphones and because of the technology the rise in technology and the uh, internet there is a belief that we can reach into the um, uttermost parts of the world easier than it was uh, 2000 years ago I am among those who believe this you know and this is why I'm also um, divulging and uh, giving my uh, teachings on the internet so that people can see this and there might there's a chance that some unbeliever or uh, people from other faith might see might see this and find the light in Jesus but are we supposed to be replaced by technology can technology really replace us let's look into Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 to 20 this is the Great Commission then Jesus came to them and said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me just like we found in Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 to uh, 11 
that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. So all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus because he conquered death. He rose again from the death and that is why all authority has been given to him. And right after that, in verse 19, he says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In verse 20, it says that and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Okay, let us look at this and study this um, verse by verse. In verse 18, we, uh, I have discussed this briefly in my episode, episode number five. You, you might want to look back to episode number five. Anyway, verse 18 is a statement. This is a statement made by Jesus where he says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So he is the king. And what do we say to kings when they command us? We say, yes. We say, tell me where to go and I'll be there. And the command we find in 19. It starts with a conjunction. That means verse 18 and 19 are um, are almost joined, you could say, because uh, right after he says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, he says, therefore go and make disciples. So the object here is all nations. We have to go to all nations because God does not play by us. He does not discriminate. He loves everyone. We have to go to all the people groups of the world. And nations is not a geographical or political boundary. Like all nations does not mean Russia, uh, China, Japan, etc. It, it also doesn't mean, doesn't mean that uh, doesn't mean the states in a country like Maharashtra or Punjab in India or even Nagaland, Mizoram in India. Nations here is taken from the Greek word ethne, which means uh, a particular group of people in, uh, in the same region who shares the same tradition, customs, and most importantly, language. Because these people, they understand each other and they are classified as people groups. We will look into this later on in the episodes. But first of all, there are verbs you find in 19. The main verb is to make disciples. And there are three participles. It, uh, the first one is to go. The second one is to baptize. And in verse 20, it starts with to teach. We have to teach the people. We do not just preach. In Matthew 24, verse 14, Jesus says, preach. And the definition of preach can be seen here in Matthew 28, uh, the Great Commission. To preach is to go, make disciples, baptizing them and teaching them to, to follow and obey all his commandments. That is the definition of preaching okay and so let us look at the verbs here can technology replace us can smartphones replace us is YouTube enough is Facebook enough this is the divine this is the divine commission for human intervention Jesus says to all believers to go if Jesus says go and he is the king, we must go and to baptize. How can we baptize anyone through the internet? Amen. And we have to teach. 
Now, during um, last year, um, students were not allowed and uh, no parents would allow them to attend schools anyway because of the pandemic. Uh, it caused schools to have online classes using webinars and whatever resources they could get. And But if we really love our children and we really want them to be knowledgeable, do you think that going to a school can be replaced by online teaching? I don't think so. No parent in their right mind would agree to online teaching. We would all prefer face-to-face -face interaction with teachers. Yes? Okay. And to make disciples. To make disciples, we have to be there. How can there be true disciples without the presence of human beings? There are things we can do at home and things we can do from home. For instance, we could pray for missionaries, we could pray for the unreached people groups, and we can send them support using uh, mobile banking facilities like uh, we have Google Pay. We can do that, support um, mission agencies from our home. But to be a part of the Great Commission, we have to go, we have to baptize and definitely teach them so that they will become disciples. This is the Great Commission. It is the Divine Commission for human intervention. And to end this, I want to add how many Bibles are, have been translated in the, in the world. Anyway, there are about 7,360 languages that are spoken in the world and the Holy Bible, the full Bible, is translated in only 704 languages. 1,551 languages have the complete New Testament and 1,160 languages have some portion of the Bible. 2,731 languages have active translation work. You know, the Bible, like I have said in earlier episodes, when we read the Bible, we are face to face with God. We are being commanded through the Bible. We are being taught through the Bible. And if there are people without the Bible, how can we translate them from home? How can we translate them from through the internet? We have to be there. And there is this policy or a tendency for Bible translators. Unless they are with the people, for whom they are translating the Bible for at least five years, no translations can be accepted because they need to be contextualized. Okay? We have to go, we have to baptize and teach people of all nations and make them disciples of Jesus Christ. This is our divine commission for our intervention. We have heard of Go Light Up Your World, but here's another one. Go Light Up Their World. May God bless you to be a blessing to many. Thank you so much.